Today is the last day to visit the Cleveland Auto Show at the IX Center. And if you've already gone, you may have noticed the future of electric cars is building momentum. It sure is. Auto manufacturers, they're rolling out more of those EV options. I was actually there uh, last weekend. Right, you went. I noticed this myself. Mm. And the federal government is actually laying out some plans to build a network of charging stations. And in this Mission Possible report, Austin Love looks at how prepared Northeast Ohio is actually ready to potentially go electric. The big buzzword at the Cleveland Auto Show is electrification. New all-electric crossovers, transit vans, and more. Electric vehicles are turning heads, but are drivers buying? One major hurdle they're seeing, range anxiety. The fear of running out of charge before you find a place to plug in. There are not enough chargers that are out there in the wild. And so building that infrastructure is a huge, important uh, first step in getting more electric vehicles owned by people in the U.S. That's why welding giant Lincoln Electric jumped into the EV charger manufacturing space. The company developed a 150 kilowatt fast charger in just a matter of months following the rules set by the Biden administration. So our goal is to manufacture a significant portion of the DC fast chargers for the United States made right here in Cleveland, Ohio by Cleveland workers. Now it's a race to market, and Lincoln Electric believes that they will win that race by rolling out chargers by year's end. All of the other manufacturers need to build manufacturing plants or expand manufacturing plants. Lincoln Electric doesn't need to do that because we already have that in place. Waiting for that to happen is NOACA, the Northeast Ohio Area-Wide Coordinating Agency. It has identified 47 locations to put multiple chargers across five counties. We did quite a bit of planning. Um, to decide how best to position these stations for the most use. Right now, most charging happens at home, slowly over a number of hours. But fast chargers take only minutes, and NOACA wants to put them in more public places. So we looked at libraries, we looked at parks, we looked at civic centers, community centers, um, high schools. The only holdup, federal funding requiring American-made fast chargers like those in the fast track at Lincoln Electric. Akron's EV task force is also at work, focusing on multifamily homes. It's proposing a public network of charging stations. That will eventually fill out a 10-minute walk scenario throughout the city from any residence, um, or for DC fast chargers, a 10-minute drive. The city is now looking for a public-private partnership to start building their charging network. We know that once EVs become affordable, our considerations for travel, how we interact with the built environment right now, is, it's going to change. So will these projects completely relieve range anxiety or boost EV sales? That remains to be seen. But NOACA and Akron see their role as showing EV is for everyone and making sure that no one is left behind. Austin Love, 3 News. Another recommendation from Akron's EV task force is to develop an electric vehicle car share in the city. 12 cars to start. No word yet on when they might hit the road. Well, some exciting.